Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So exciting news have recently come up. Lionsgate has officially confirmed that they will be moving ahead with the Michael Jackson biography, biopic. Now this is probably going to release around next year or the following year if production really takes a lot of time. So in this video, I'm just going to be talking about a few points uh, about the movie and about the actors and the directors of the movie and controversies around the movie as well. So this video is not going to be an in-depth dive into the movie. It's mainly going to be giving a few talking points to people who might not know what's going on with the Michael Jackson biopic and who just want to catch up on the latest news. So the first point we're going to be talking about is Jafar as the actor. So Lionsgate has confirmed that the best person to play Michael Jackson will be his nephew Jafar, Jafar Jackson. Now a lot of people are very supportive of this. In fact, I am also very supportive of Jafar Jackson playing Michael Jackson. The resemblance is there, they look alike and I think it's going to be an amazing portrayal of, the, of Michael Jackson. However, a lot of other people don't really feel that Jafar fits the role and uh, a lot of people would say to this that Jafar Jackson might not be experienced as an actor which I can definitely understand but let's not forget that a lot of people's children or a lot of people's family members have played other family members in movies a good example would be straight out of Compton this is when Ice Cube's son played Ice Cube as him when you know they were in Compton and I think this was an amazing choice by the director to use Ice Cube's son as Ice Cube in the movie because the resemblance is there now the second thing that we're going to be talking about based on the biopic is the controversies surrounding it now one of the controversies is of course Oprah Winfrey there are sources saying that Oprah Winfrey is working to the nail to make sure that this biopic does not happen. A lot of fans in the Michael Jackson community do not like Oprah Winfrey. This is because she has gone on to say and ask Michael Jackson a lot of weird things. I mean, we all remember that interview that Oprah had with Michael Jackson at the Neverland Ranch. And a lot of fans felt Oprah's questions were a bit disrespectful, asking Michael Jackson Jackson if he's still a virgin and asking him about his, his skin disease which is private information so a lot of fans are really not happy about Oprah so word is that Oprah is trying to get the film cancelled and uh, we obviously know that she probably won't succeed in doing that now I wanted to talk about the film itself now, what I wanted to speak about regarding the film is the direction the director will take. Lionsgate has said that the estate and uh, Michael Jackson's family are giving the A-OK -okay for this film. So it's going to be interesting how this film plays out. Lionsgate has confirmed that this film will cover all aspects of Michael Jackson's life. Now, a lot of people will be asking themselves, if that's the case, we obviously know Michael Jackson had a lot of controversies and a lot of unfortunate situations that happened in his life. This is no secret. We all know this. How will the film go about talking about these things? The way I see it, whatever the film does, you are bound to make one half of the audience angry. There is going to be a half that believes these controversies about Michael Jackson, that believes he obviously did inappropriate things with children, that believe, you know, a lot of the outlandish things about Michael Jackson. And if the film portrays something other than that, you're going to make those people angry. However, there's another side of Michael Jackson of the Michael Jackson audience, which are his fans, right? Who want to see the positive things, who want to see the good side of Michael Jackson and how he was raised. And if you show that only, you're going to anger the other side who believe that Michael Jackson was a monster or whatever you call it. So whatever the film does, 
you're bound to make one side angry. So it's it's going to be interesting to see how they walk around or tiptoe around the, this film and people's emotions. What I will say though is this. Michael Jackson was a huge figure. This is no question. Michael Jackson is probably one of the most recognizable music icons that has ever graced the earth since probably the 1900s, right? Michael Jackson and Elvis Presley, two of the most iconic. And how this film portrays Michael Jackson is going to make or break the film. This goes down not only to the actors itself, but the story they decide to tell. I think a lot of these, a lot of Michael Jackson picks, biopics, and a lot of Michael Jackson um, uh, uh, movies that have come out, uh, like the one that Navi acted in, I think a lot of these ones, and the, like the American Dream, a lot of these failed in conveying the true essence of the Jackson family. Because I feel as though, since Michael Jackson was such uh, an extraordinary character, how you portray him will make or break the film. A lot of impersonators these days over-exaggerate and over-accentuate Michael Jackson's movements. It's going to be interesting to see how Jafar Jackson plays the role of Michael Jackson as well. I believe, and this is a personal belief, that if the film truly delves into Michael Jackson's true life as it is, they're going to make a great film. A biopic that has not been seen before. How you make this movie will either make it the greatest biopic ever or one of the worst. So the director of this film really, really has some, some working around to do because it's not going to be easy. Michael Jackson is one of those figures like Superman. You, it, making a film about this person is incredibly difficult because you have to make him human. I think a lot of people and a lot of times these movies miss the fact that Michael Jackson was a human being. Bring him down to earth. I'm not saying dumb the icon down, but bring him down to earth. We want to see those dark moments where Michael Jackson is in the corner crying, not knowing how he's going to figure out uh, these controversies surrounding his life. We want to see those moments where Michael Jackson is on top of the world and Katherine Jackson is standing next to him and saying, my son, I'm so proud of you. We want to see those moments of Michael Jackson and, and um, his father, Joe Jackson, fighting and battling it out, trying, Michael Jackson trying to break out of his father's grip. If the film is able to hit these points and does it well, I think this film is definitely going to be one of the greatest biopics we have probably seen to date. So how this film happens is truly going to be a huge task on the directors. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think Jafar Jackson is a good fit for the movie or do you not see that he will um, portray Michael Jackson well? I feel that as long as Jafar Jackson doesn't make Michael Jackson a caricature, I feel if he doesn't make Michael Jackson this out of reach type of celebrity and just takes him as his uncle, I believe that the movie will go extremely well and I believe that he will portray Michael Jackson extremely well all he has to do is just embody Michael Jackson fully so we don't want to hear the over exaggerated high-pitched voice we don't want to hear the exaggerated movements we just want Michael Jackson in in the flesh we want to see him as a person so let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you enjoyed this dive please like the video and if you want to see more in-depth conversations like these please let me know in the comment section below and also let me know what you think in the comment section below let's engage in the comment section below i want to hear you disagree i want to hear you agree if you agree put it all in the comment section below let's build the community and guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to press the like button. If you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button because there'll be more content coming in the future. Anyway, we're Brian Murphy Official and I'll see you in the next video.